that. Mum told them I'm estranged. Now I've shouted at some poor nurse and I'm shouting at you. I'm sure we'll both get over it. I shouldn't have blamed my mum for Dad's stroke. How is she supposed to know the symptoms? Okay, I need to know how he's doing. Don't go down there. I'll come with you if you want. You tried that. You don't deserve a kicking off at you and all. We might speak to you in person. And if you want to build bridges with your mum, that's where she'll be. I'll come with you. Even if I have to wait outside. Stop being lovely. Showing me up even more. <laughs> Yeah, that's once who hired a hitman to take out her husband. Now, had he not been held up by a sheep on the Woodhead Pass, he'd have been history. Six months later, they're back together. Huh? People act extreme. They lash out and they cannot even imagine a way back. But it can happen. I don't want her here. Rana has knowledge. The consultant is going to be telling us things that we need to get our heads around. You're clever. Yeah. And if we were trying to bail Dad out of that bed, then I'd be your man. Don't make light of it. I'm not. You don't even have to talk to her. Just let Rana hear what the consultant has to say for Dad's sake. She's not seeing him. OK. Mrs Habib, come through. You're here as an interpreter. Not family. Get us questions. Just ask. But they've written him off. That's not what she said. They said he won't recover. They said the chances are small. I heard it loud and clear. You heard the worst case scenario. Are you even a nurse? Is anything that you've told us the truth? You lie, accuse? You only want to hurt people. No. Stop it. Oh, you can take her side now, are you? Adam. I'm sorry for what I said yesterday. Don't you think that grief is enough for me to feel and fear? Not enough for you. You want me to feel guilt and regret? I just wish I'd been there, that's all. You didn't deserve to be there. I'll take it, whatever it is. And you don't deserve to be here. The distress you caused your father, you brought this on him. Don't say that. He was perfectly healthy before you, before you shamed him. I've got to go to work. You can take her with you. I don't want you anywhere near him or me. And if he dies, it's on your conscience. All the stress I gave him. All the shame. Rana, you have to know that you've done nothing wrong. I just wish... Wish what? I thought he'd feel like this. They did accept me. They loved me. He did love you. He does love you. He just doesn't understand you. And that's not your fault. <sighs> All his. It's bigger than that. Which is why you have to forgive yourself. It's just... It's bad timing. Things change. They are changing. It's too late, though. For me and Dad. As long as he's alive, there's hope, okay? Just concentrate on that. 